Good morning, folks. Welcome to today's video. I thought I would put together a little behind the scenes look at what I typically do on a working day because I'm sure a lot of you guys who watch my videos think, what do you actually do for a living? Do you even do any work? Because I'm not gonna lie, a lot of the time I am swanning around the pool or by the beach or in some exotic destination. But there is a lot of work that goes on that I don't show you guys. So today, I thought I'd give you a little look. The first hour of my day isn't massively exciting. I literally have a coffee, make breakfast, plan the day, go through some emails. So let's skip that bit and head off to the gym. Ooh, look, we have here brand new delivery from MyProtein. Use code Thurston when you go on the MyProtein website for exclusive deals. Today, I'm gonna to be training with a guy called Brandon Harding. You may have heard of him. He's another fellow Brit, also a YouTuber. Never trained with him before, so we're gonna link up at Binu's gym and get a chest and back workout in the bag. Unbelievable weather right now in Dubai. It is perfect temperatures for having the top down. It's 30 degrees, the sun is out. The breeze is flowing through my long, luscious locks. And nothing wakes me up more than a iced Americano and unnecessarily revving underneath this bridge. Good morning, brother! Feeling good today. Had a, a day off yesterday, so I'm feeling proper up for this session. That's why I recommend people have days off after three or four consecutive days of training. Because you will notice after that rest day, you will be full of energy, your strength will be up. You'll just enjoy the session more. Starting off session with a heavy compound movement, we're gonna do bent over barbell row. Whenever I start off with this exercise as well, I actually need to make sure that I sort of loosen up my hamstrings and my glutes. There's been a few times where I'm not warmed up and I go straight into a heavy lift and like, I just go into it and like, I pull something in my butt and then I feel it for the rest it's of the, the session. It's the age difference. Yeah. I don't, I don't even know what you're talking about. How old are you? Warming up. How old, how old are you? 23. 23. <laughs> I'm an old withered 30 year old man. Nah, I'm still young. Still young. Aging, aging well. Seven, seven years different though. The, the tan doesn't crack. Nah. I don't do a huge amount of warm sets because I don't really want to gas myself out. Working our way up the place. I'll do a couple of reps, 60. A couple of reps, 80. And then uh, we'll get on to the working weight. I don't think anyone wants to know your, your workout routine. I think they want to know your tan routine. <laughs> I've already done a video on it. But, oh, you did? Yeah, yeah. Okay, now I need to watch that one. Whenever I hit a heavy set, sometimes in my head, I won't say it out loud, it's quite embarrassing, but I count in German, because it sounds stronger. Like, if you, you count in top sets. like Arnold's voice. Yeah, maybe a little bit. <laughs> you know, maybe that's where it comes from, because like, if you, if you, you know, you're about to hit a PR, one, two, three, it's one thing. You're like, eins, zwei, drei. It's like, ooh. I actually do the same thing, but in Chinese. Oh, yeah. Ichi, <laughs> ni. <laughs> The delts are looking very aggressive. The strength is... Oh. Wow, right on the shit. We don't know what we've had in there, joints. Strength is what, then? Huh? Strength is what? Shite. Oh, 
potato. Decent session that. So guys, that was a great session with Brandon. I thought I'd give you a little bit of a condition check after three weeks of being in uh, Dubai. <sighs> you know what? Things are going well considering I've not really been doing much meal prep. I've been eating out a lot in Dubai right now. Why? Because it's just good to be back here. Perfect temperature to be eating out and about. So uh, there's been a lot of intuitive eating and avoiding desserts, but I think I'm looking pretty good. I'm not as lean as I was in Ibiza. That's a given. But I'm feeling pretty thick. The pump. You know, I love this place. Shout out to uh, Low Calorie. I always get a post-workout meal here. And the staff are so happy and friendly. Yeah. yeah! Always providing the best service. So today, I always get the best. you're the best. I am the best. What's that one that I always get? Buffalo. Buffalo. So we're gonna have 250 grams of buffalo chicken and 200 grams of sweet potato. Okay. Okay. And no vegetables. Could I get about 50 to 70 grams of vegetables? How many grams of sweet potato? How many grams of sweet potato? Sweet potato. 200. Thank you. Oh. Let's see. Let's see who you're looking at. Who is that? Who's that? It's me with the gal then. It's very yummy. I don't have money. <laughs> yummy like buffalo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we are at Seven Gym, yet another unbelievable gym in Dubai. We have a full squad out here today. We've got Louis behind the camera. We've got Amir, the guy who put together the one million subscriber special. And we've got all of his crew as well. About four people have rocked up. So there's literally going to be five people helping me out on this video. Last time I did this, I absolutely destroyed my shoulder on the uh, rings in Santa Monica. So there's gonna be minimal ring action today. If you wanna see some solid ring action, go on to Louis OnlyFans. I would say that a large chunk of my day is dedicated to generating content of some form. Not only on a working day, but every day. You know, it's part of my job. It is to create content. And the more content I can get, the better, assuming that it's quality content. And particularly in this day and age, there's a lot of content creators out there. So you do have to try and figure out a way to stand out. So I need to try and put together either content which is unique, it's valuable, interesting, or of just a very high quality, which is what I'm doing today with this promo video. I want it to be really cool, really high quality, and just something which makes people go, wow. So that's why I've invested a little bit of money to get Amir and his team involved. The tighter shot. You want tighter? Da -da 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 -da. Man feels like he's on set for a big film. So many takes. But that is what it takes to get the perfect shot. It's pretty crazy how much work would go into a 30 second promo video. Especially when I'm here then. And then he'll probably be up until like. He'll nine, have three, nine tomorrow morning. three sleepless nights <laughs> doing these mad little effects. Now I'm on my way to do a podcast. An old friend of mine is in Dubai. He has his own show and he invited me to go along and I thought, why the hell not? Realistically, doing a podcast is not something which I would do on a typical working day, but I would say that at least one to two hours of my day is spent having a conversation with somebody. That person might change on a day-to-day -day basis, but it usually has something to do with my app, my training programs, the ads which have been run on Facebook or Instagram, my clothing line thirst, or just somebody who is having a discussion with me about potential business collaboration, or even somebody out here who I want to do a collab with and we just have a little meeting and talk about what it is that we're going to do for the video we have in mind. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> How are you, man? You good? good? How are you? All good. Is this the pad you're staying in? This is the pad I'm using. To record it. Nice. That's a solid sound. Chris, I have to ask you, you you brought all this with you? Or yes. bought the equipment? No, here? I brought it with me. How long have you been doing Modern Wisdom for? Three years, just under three years. Ah. How many episodes? 
250. Serious. And you got 8K subscribers on YouTube now? 80K subs on YouTube did 2 million plays last month. Nice. And trying to hit 100K by the end of the year. Yeah, I want that plaque, man. I want that play <laughs> button so bad. Subscribe here. It should be an interesting conversation. We'll be talking about all sorts. Don't want to give away too much right now. You're just going to have to watch the episode when it comes out. Do you have a release date of when this is going to be on YouTube? A week on Monday. A week on Monday. So just wrapped up the podcast. Went on for about 90 minutes, but that was very interesting. A lot of cool stuff was talked about. And you know what? After I have conversations like that, I get proper motivated just to smash life. And I kind of toyed with the idea of doing my own podcast, but as I mentioned on the podcast with him, I don't want to do something half assed Like if I'm going to do something, I want to go in 100% effort. And with a lot of stuff I've got going on at the moment, I need to make sure that I can create time to put all that time and effort into actually building a decent podcast. So we shall see. So after the morning and afternoon, by that time we've captured a fair amount of content. Now that, that's the easy part. The harder, more time consuming part is sitting down and putting it all together, which is usually what we'll do late afternoon and early evening. Sometimes there's days, like the days when I have to put a YouTube video out, we're editing all day, which isn't too fun, but it's something which is necessary in order to get the video up in time. I edit a lot of the talking parts because I'm in charge of narrating the video but Louis who is skilled with his editing capabilities he helps me do all like the cooler more complex edits I actually do enjoy the editing process because as you can imagine when there's been quite a lot of content gathered there's a lot of footage so I just sit there and I basically just cut out the crap and keep in what I think is relevant for the viewer one thing that's annoying in Dubai right it's such a lively and exciting place and there's so much going on that me and louis actually have a hard time sitting down and editing because we'd much rather be getting out there and getting fully stuck in the mix isn't that right that is correct however we have to get the work done so particularly on the days when the youtube video is going live we have to force ourselves to stay in and we're often working right up until maybe 9 or 10 p.m because we are four hours ahead of the uk you know, we do have a little bit of extra time to put all the content together and get everything ready for the upload, which tends to be around 10 p.m. or 11 p.m. So that is that, the end of the working day. It's actually 7.30, so relatively early finish. Everything is ready to go. Got the Instagram post for tonight. Also got the YouTube video ready to go live in a couple hours time. So I'm done. I'm gonna go have a shower, get changed, head out, go for a drive, get some food, See what else Dubai has to offer. He spent up at the right time. <laughs> <laughs> he spent up at the right time. <laughs>